Okay, so we want to fully factorize this expression. And I was just saying before that we need to find any factor to be able to get this started. Now, I've said that if f is equal to 1, if, sorry, if f of 1 is equal to 0, then we would know that x minus 1 would be a factor. And if you subbed in 2, then x minus 2 would be a factor. But we actually just need to do a bit of guesswork to find out what it would be, OK? Now, the quick way of doing this, when you have the class with calculator, is if you go to your calculator, there is a function that is called the table function. This one's on my graphics calculator, but you'll also have it on your one as well in the table function, OK? I think when you have the it will eventually do this for you. So you go to the table function, and you type in what the function is. Now, the function is 2x cubed plus x squared minus 18x. So that's 2x cubed plus x squared. I think actually your normal calculators can do this as well. So I'll show you that in a second. Minus 18x plus 9. Is it minus 9? Guys, quiet, please. And then all you need to do is you can set what values I want to put in. So I could put in values between maybe minus 5 and 5, and it will go up in 1s. And then the calculator, when I press table, will have done all the substituting for me. So the answers are 144 minus 49, 0, 15, 8, minus 9. So actually, you can see here, minus 3, when you sub in minus 3, you do get an answer of 0. So that means you don't need to do all of this substitution. We know that when you put in minus 3, you get 0. Hence, x plus 3 is a factor. So you can use your calculator to do this. And at the end, I'll do it with one of the old calculators. Yeah, of course you can. So you know the one that you just showed us? Yeah. No, you're getting one that's like a mid-range one that's in between that. That's for further maths. You can get this one if you want to get this graphics one. If you get bursary from school, you can get it for a cheap price. You can get it for like, I think like 20 or 30 pounds. Normally in the shops, it's like 130. So now we know that x plus 3 is a factor. I want to fully factorize it. So I'm going to take this expression and I'm going to divide it by x plus 3. So that is 2x cubed plus x squared minus 18x minus 9. And I'm going to divide it by x plus 3. I'll show you on the other calculators after, OK? So you're going to do 2x cubed divided by x, which is going to be 2x squared. You multiply, so you get your 2x cubed plus your 6x squared. Shh. And you subtract to get minus 5x squared and bring down the minus 18x. Then you're going to do, Abby Bakker, come on, quiet. You're going to do this divided, which will give you minus 5x. Multiply by minus 5x, and you get minus 5x squared minus 15x. What does that subtract to? Minus 3x. Bring down the minus 9. And what does this divide by this to give you here? Minus 3. And that would give you minus 3x minus 9, which gives you a remainder of 0. And that's good, because we wanted the remainder of 3 to be 0. So now we know that f of x is x plus 3, 2x squared, minus 5x, minus 3. We factorized it, but the question. How did you get um, f, um, I mean, x plus 3 to the plus 3? How did I know that x plus 3 was a factor? Because when I put it on my calculator, when I put minus 3 into it, I get 0, which tells me that x plus 3 is a factor because of the factor theorem. So f of x is the top equation. f of x is the top equation. I should have said, let f of x equal this. Yeah. Lily? I'll come and have a look at it. And I, 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 you might have typed something in wrong. But we haven't finished, guys, so don't pack anything away just yet. Andrew? Because I'm doing it this way. Um, and then we haven't finished, because it said fully factorized. I circled that word fully. Has this been fully factorized? No. So we need to factorize the quadratic as well. What's that going to factorize to? Two x, two x plus one x minus three. So Lily, that's why when you did it with three, 
you've got the answer zero as well. So you didn't have to do it with an x plus three. Lily also noticed that f of three was also equal to zero. So then also we know that that is also a factor. And technically, you could have also seen that a minus a half with a factor was equal to zero as well. And you could have factorized it in that way too. But usually if this was in an exam, because Andrew said, oh, couldn't I just put this equation into my solver and just write it down in factorized form? The question would say, using algebra, fully factorize it, which would mean you can't use the calculator. Yeah? You can use the calculator to do this stage, but you can't use the calculator to do like the solving equation part to get this. So I'm going to set you a few questions that are similar to stuff like these for homework as well. Yeah. 